Hey guys and gals, Nary here from Drake Wayne Gaming. It's something you may on Twitter, The Gaming Drag. Today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Cilio Ties Pad. So yeah, before we jump into it, just wanted to let y'all know that our Patreon is now up for as little as $5. Y'all can help support the channel, get some awesome rewards like permanent access or community Discord server, and full access to upcoming out safe for work videos. Anyway, y'all, let's go ahead and jump right back in. Alarm chain, you are up, and let's go. Alright. <clears throat> oh, that's such a shame. Uh, having you along would have been fun. Oh well, next time I see you, I'll be sure to let you know what we end up finding. Sure thing. Good luck. Don't die. Uh, I, uh, sure. Uh, it's not like it's dangerous or anything, but yeah, we'll try not to. Promise. Man, why did I have to go and say that? Stupid. Truth be told, I didn't have any plans. None whatsoever, in fact. I had no idea what I was going to do, but anything, even nothing, was preferable to taking my chances that abandoned house. I thought long and hard about what I'd do next, and it struck me. Diego's lunch break would be fairly soon, and I was only a stone's throw away from the food court. This was a great chance to catch up with him. And perhaps I could even tell him about that weird nightmare. I sent Diego a text message asking if he'd like to meet before cracking into the final part of my workload. Roughly ten minutes later, I was done. During this time, Diego had texted back and agreed to meet up in a, meet up in a little while. I had a little time to spare, if there was anything else that needed doing. I waved goodbye to Dom and left Lucas's office, en route to whatever my next destination would be. Yep, it's time for Diego's path. Alright. In keeping with my earlier commitment, I arrived at the food court and scanned the tables for a large brown dingo. It was a challenge considering how packed the place was, but finally I located him sitting at a table to my far right, with two meals in front of him. Hey, Diego, got an appetite today? Hey, I may be fat, but I ain't that fat. This one's for you. Diego slid a buffet plate towards me. Predictably, it was piled very high. Hope you like it. The lady behind the counter gave me hell for this. Because you overfilled both plates. What's the point in a buffet if you can't completely fill the plate? If she wants people to take less food, she should make the plate smaller instead. If you're not careful, she might just do that. Mm -hmm. I hope she doesn't. Anyway, thank you for the food. I really appreciate it. At least I could do, bud. You're going through a tough time right now. I mean, so are you. Hey, shut up and let me do nice stuff. Anyway, I can't imagine you met me here just to want to hang out, right? We see each other almost every day. What are you insinuating? Of course I want to hang out, although I do have some juicy gossip here. Eh? Juicy gossip? What are you, a suburban housewife? Oh, shut up. Heh. <laughs> anyway, I hate to disappoint you, but there really isn't much to say. Ty definitely seems a bit, I don't know, down? But that aside, it seems like business as usual. Huh, well, that's uneventful. Yeah, sorry, dude. Wish I had something more for you. It's alright. I appreciate you keeping an eye out anyway. At least I can do, bud. Now tell me, what's your so-called juicy gossip then, Mr. Suburbia? Oh my god, shut up about that! Thank you. Well, coffee time. Heh. <clears throat> well, uh, I had this weird nightmare earlier. I don't know if it's relevant, but... Wait, hold up. When was this? You said nothing this morning. I, uh, fell asleep at Lucas's. Ooh, naughty boy. Pet Lucas gave you a good walloping. Actually, no, but we're getting ahead of ourselves. Sorry, shoot. Long story short about the dream, I'm still figuring it out. I feel like it was important somehow. Anyway, it sort of brought all my fears and worries to life. Ty was in it, and well, he said some really awful things. Aw, uh, but you know it's just a dream, right? It ain't real. You say that, but hold on. This guy showed up in the dream. Said some really weird kind of spooky stuff. He had Ty in chains. Dom was there too. He got too close, Ty ripped him apart, yet this guy could get close to him and Ty did nothing. Anyway, here's where it gets weird. The guy starts saying some weird shit, doesn't make a lot of sense, and then releases Ty who kills me. Okay. And then I woke up, and guess who was standing right in front of me? The same dude. Whoa. And like, I'd never seen this guy before in my life. Anyway, dude, dude is real nice to me, real friendly. Dom then tells me he's not usually like that, and that he must have taken a liking to me. Wow, dude. And here's the weirdest bit, although I need you to promise to keep this a secret. I'm not supposed to tell anybody. Of course, my dude, hit me. Lucas then accidentally lets slip that this guy has some involvement with Ty. Whoa, that's weird, dude. It's like a weird premonition or something. But hold on, why was this guy in Lucas's office to begin with? He was a client. We were doing a job for him. I see. Damn, dude, that's so weird. Any ideas about what this guy's deal is? No, not yet. Lucas can't and won't tell me, apparently. He knows something, though. Dom doesn't know anything much, but he seems to think the guy is really suspicious. Like, there's a possibility this guy's real bad news. <sighs> there's something about the way he looks, too. 
He's a jet black raven. Name is Spencer. Red eyes. Wears this really fancy old suit. When I look at him, my brain screams for me to run. There's something not right about him. Hmm, why does... Oh shit, dude, I've seen this guy before. What, you have? Yeah, it was a regular Ties for a long while. I used to love when he came in. Pretty sure it's because the dude only drank the gourmet top, uh, top shelf shit. It was always a good payday when he showed up. Hold on, was a regular? Yeah, dude, haven't seen him in a while. Maybe he just comes in and on, in on my off days or something. But I ain't seen him for, oh, maybe a couple months now? D do you think it has anything to do with anything? Like, what if Ty is secretly hurting for cash and the Spencer guy not coming around is making things tight? Hmm, I don't know. I thought the bar was doing pretty well. Yeah, but Ty's a habit of controlling information. It could be. He just hasn't allowed us to know more about it. Maybe. I guess it's plausible. Or, or, Dom thinks he's bad news, right? But what if he's like some gangster or something? What if he's extortion? What if he's extorting Ty? I mean, also plausible, but I think you're missing the point. Maybe he's trying to keep you out of harm's way. Maybe he's secretly a hero. You're getting way too excited about this. Besides, we don't know if this has anything to do with my relationship with Ty in the first place. Sorry, I don't know. I guess I'd to just know a mystery when I smell one. Like, no. Ah. There's probably not much point in forming conspiracies until we find out more. Right now, we don't have much to go on. Alright, dude, fair enough. I'll keep an ear out, okay? Let you know if I find anything. Thanks, Diego. Diego pulled his phone out of his pocket, only to get a fright. Shit, if I don't leave now, I'll be late. I need to get a carry container. All right, Diego, thanks for lunch. I'll see you later. Later, dude. Diego departed, half-filled plate in hand, his first goal being to transfer his uneaten meal into a carry container. If looks could kill, the look lady, the look the lady gave us as, as he approached would have been the first-degree murder. Having no plans, I took my time eating, savoring each mouthful as I went. <sighs> A short while later, after having finished my meal, my phone started to ring. I wondered who it could be. Hello? Hey, hey, fam. What's good? What? What? Has nobody ever said hello to you before? I mean, yeah, but... Not the point. Anyway, I just got done with Lucas. Boy, he may be handsome, but he sure is thick. Are you perving again? Oh, no. Plenty of time for that later, if you know what I mean. I don't. Anyway, he goes out and buys the same model of printer he smashed. Like, come on, what is wrong with him? Only difference is the color. Anyway, forget that. Reason I'm calling is because I just realized you still haven't filled me in on your romantic rendezvous with our tiger. So I was thinking, how about you and me go somewhere fun and you can tell me all the hot details while we're there? Um, well, uh, you see, um... I got your tongue, eh? But he's got more than just that, am I right? <laughs> well, no, actually, we've, uh... Yeah? Things aren't going well. Things aren't going well so great. We're kind of... Spending some time apart. Oh, sorry, man. Had no idea. It's fine. He couldn't have known. Okay, how about this? I retract that offer and present you with a new one. Let's go somewhere fun, have a few drinks, and just have a good time to help take your mind off it all. Just you and me, buddy. What do you say? I, uh... Truth be told, I didn't really want to, especially knowing what Eric's idea of fun is probably like. We'd probably end up at a strip club or something, which really is the last thing I need right now. Ah, oh, come on. I'm just trying to help you take your mind off it all. Make you feel better. Let your boy Eric soothe that broken heart. But then again, I felt as though he was genuinely trying to help. Just in a uh, distinctly Eric way. I feel bad turning him down. Come on. You'll love it. I promise. I sigh, knowing I would probably come to regret my choice. Okay, fine. Yes, I knew you'd come to your senses. Where are we going, then? That's a surprise. It's on 3rd Street, across from that vintage music shop. Know the one? I'm sure I'll find it. Great. Oh, man, we're gonna have so much fun. See you soon, Hunter. God damn it. With a deep sigh, I got up and left the food court, heading in the direction of 3rd Street. There you go. Hmm, these wouldn't happen to be the 3rd Street Saints, would they? It hadn't taken long to arrive at our agreed meeting spot on foot. Eric arrived only minutes after I did, proceeding to excitedly drag me down a suspicious alleyway. As if the location of our destination wasn't suspicious enough already, turning the corner 50 or so meters from the road revealed Eric's terrific plan in all its glory. Seriously? A goddamn nightclub? I'll have you know that this here is a strip club. What better to take your mind off one hot guy than several other hot guys? I neglected to congratulate myself for the accuracy of my earlier prediction. Instead, irritated by Eric's complete lack of standards and common sense. I sighed deeply, making no attempt to conceal my irritation. Perhaps this sort of thing did work for some people. 
Alas, I was not one of those people. Evidently, Eric hasn't worked that out yet. Hmm. Come on, let's get seated. You hungry? The curly fries here are amazing. Actually, I just ate. Man, you're missing out. They put this crazy seasoning on them? A complete goblin for those curly fries. Dude, you're just a little dick goblin in general. Jesus. He was a complete goblin for the rest of the time, also. <laughs> Eric and I had approached the reception desk where Raccoon, whose attire consists of little more than a pair of netted shorts, accompanied us to our seats and commenced taking our order. I'll take your biggest, fattest, most girthy bowl of... God, why would you phrase it like that, you fucking heathen? Most girthy bowl of curly fries and some tropical cider to wash it down. I gotta say, you're looking mighty fine this evening. Don't see raccoons as fine as you very often. The reader returned a half-smile, barely concealing a look of mild annoyance. It was clearly not the first time Eric had tried. As he jotted Eric's order down on his pad, I, f I found myself strangely transfixed. Clearly, the entire point of the waiter's outfit was to show off his, well, his junk. It seemed almost completely pointless. With an outfit so transparent, why bother wearing anything at all? Would it not be more comfortable if he just let it all hang loose? Hey, Hunter, I know he's hot and all, but it's rude to stare at the merchandise like that. Sorry, I'll just have a cola, well, thanks. The waiter nodded, jotting down my order before quickly departing in the direction of the kitchen. I couldn't believe it. I'd have been called out for staring at some guy's dick. Called out by Eric, no less. How shameful. No booze? Seriously, where's the fun in that? It's hard to disappoint. That's <laughs> fine. Besides, you can still make it up to me. Something told me I wasn't going to like whatever he said next. And how would I do that? Describe it. D describe what? His cock. Dude, are you kidding? He and I are going through tough times and all you can think about is feeding your erection? I'd rather be thinking about his if I'm honest. Eric, dude, read the room. Not happening. Ah, fine. Another time, then. So, uh, what exactly went sour between you two? Well, yesterday he told me we needed some time apart. Something about going into this for the wrong reasons and all that. He didn't give much detail, and I honestly don't know where we stand. Shit, sorry, dude, that sucks, but you know, you gotta look at the positives. Like what? You got the D, right? Sounds like a win to me. Oh my god! Thankfully, our waiter returned with our orders, successfully derailing the topic. This time around, I focused on my will into not looking. Finally, the waiter left, I could breathe a sigh of relief. There you go. Hmm. <laughs> Damn, these curly fries are the bomb! Eric cheerfully shoveled curly fries into his gaping maw as I took several sips from my drink. It wasn't until... Well, well, if it isn't my favorite rat. And look, he's accompanied by my favorite husky. Huh? I don't know which was worse, being in a strip club with Eric or being recognized in a strip club with Eric. It's good to see you, Eric. Hey, Jay, you already met Hunter, huh? Indeed, I must say I am awfully surprised to see you in such a place. Especially considering that big tiger hunk you've been hanging around with, huh? Oh, uh, Jay, short topic, man. Careful. He bites. Is that any surprise at the way you carry on? Oh my, I, I apologize profusely, Hunter. I had no idea. It's fine, don't worry about it. Although I still don't know how this place is supposed to cheer me up. What better to take your mind off a hot guy than other hot guys? Right? The two of them then share an excited high five. Oh, brother, don't tell me Jay is another Eric. I can hardly handle one of them. All right, I'm going to go ahead and pause it right there. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell, and check out our Patreon if you can. It always helps. Anyway, uh, before I go, I'm going to give a quick shout-out to our lovely Bronze Tier patrons. Thank you all for all you do for the channel. We greatly appreciate your support. Thank you to our Silver Tier patron, Cade Silvermoon. Thank you for going a bit above and beyond. It's greatly appreciated. And thank you to our Gold Tier patron, Amr. You're awesome. We love you. Thank you for subbing to our Ultimate Tier. And anyway, if you all want to get your name in the credits, get access to a Not Safe for Work content as little as $5. I love you all, and I shall see you on the next video. Bye-bye!